Hi, Wicked Dave here. I've been asked to share my thoughts on rope thickness, and I'm going to answer this in two stages. Broad categories of thickness, uh, 8mm, 6mm, and thinner, etc., or even thicker. And then I'll move to differences around the 5 to 6mm area. To make this easy to listen to and save having to qualify every comparison, let's assume that other than thickness, the rope in this discussion is in all other ways absolutely identical. This is a very thin rope, about 3.5 millimeters. This is a medium rope, about 6 millimeters. This is a thick rope, about 25 millimeters. Here is a knot in the 3.5 millimeter rope. Here is a knot in the 6 millimeter rope. Here is a knot in the 25 millimeter rope. So let's begin with large differences in diameter. The two biggest differences that are important for rope bondage purposes due to diameter are relative strength and flexibility. It's fairly obvious that all other things being equal that the thicker rope will be both the strongest and the least flexible of the ropes. The thinner rope will be easier to handle, holds knots better and doesn't create so much bulk in a tie. How much of a problem or benefit each of these factors may be depends a great deal on your own preferences and style of bondage. Speaking for myself, my style and aesthetic choices lead me to choose rope of approximately 5.5mm. The thinnest rope I might regularly use would be around 3.5mm in diameter. Whatever size of rope you use, it contributes to the way that you tie. The very small turns and intricacies of bondage done with the thinnest rope isn't going to be possible with a much thicker rope, and something as thick as 8mm would make a very intricate style of tying practically impossible. Practically. Now some personal comments on style and flow. I know some people argue for using thicker ropes for suspension lines, but for me this breaks the aesthetic. This is where we come to personal choice. What thickness of rope you like will, to an extent, depend on the style of rope you like doing, on what feelings you're trying for, and what you want to convey in your bondage. To give an example, if I want to take a lot of time on the experience of tying and to get a lot more rope on the body, I'm going to certainly use quite a thin rope. If, on the other hand, I want to make a harsher experience, I'm probably going to use a thicker rope for a harsher feel. None of that is to say that you cannot be harsh with thin rope. In many ways you can be harsher. I'm just giving one example there. There are good reasons why rope around the 6mm mark works well for the shibari style of bondage. The flexibility and size of the rope work well for shibari ties that were developed using rope of that kind of size and flexibility. They are complementary. This is something of a theme. The size of the rope and what the rope is good for and looks good doing is linked, as it's linked to the properties of the rope itself. I know it's obvious, but thick rope doesn't really lend itself to intricate, elegant bondage. On the other end of the scale, too thin rope isn't safe for most conventional forms of suspension. In the end, the choice of rope thickness is something that will come from your personal preferences and the kind of bondage you want to do. For me, there's no point using anything over 6mm because I find it just impractical for the kind of tying that I personally like. Your mileage may of course vary. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this or any of my videos, please link, share, subscribe. Cheers.